Hi everyone, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we'll be implementing one amazing uh, computer vision project called Car License Plate Detection. So here we'll be using something called YOLO V10. So YOLO V10 is a new state-of-the-art object detection model. As of now, we have seen uh, like uh, all the variants of the YOLO. Like uh, I think from YOLO V5 itself, I have covered till YOLO V9. So if you haven't checked this video, so what you can do, just open up my YouTube channel. And if you go to the playlist section, so you will see all the YOLO variant I have already recorded in my YouTube channel. So guys, you can see I already recorded uh, like the previous version of the YOLO V9. See V8 is also there, then V7, then V7, V6, okay. Even V5 is also available. So all the YOLO variant I've already uh, created in my YouTube channel. So if you don't know about them, you can check it out. So in this uh, video, I already told you I'll be using one new state-of-the-art object detection model called YOLO V10. And this is like a recently released model. And this is one of the amazing uh, YOLO variant, you will see. So this is the benchmark of YOLO V10. You can see YOLO V10 is performing better than uh, your previous version of the YOLO. And it is like uh, also good with the video. That means if you, are, uh, if you want to do, let's say, real-time object detection, so if you want to perform real-time object detection, so you can use this model. Uh, it is one of the amazing model uh, because here you will get very low latency. And it is having different different model variant. I will also show you uh, like how many different different model variant it is having. So this is the official paper of the YOLO uh, V10. So if you are interested in learning YOLO V10, like what kinds of architecture they are using, so you can deep dive in this particular paper. So I'll give the link in my description section. So from there, you can open this particular paper. Now let me show you the official uh, implementation of the yellow v10 so this is the github guys and inside the github actually you can see like uh, they have given everything now here you can see the variant of the model it is having different different model like yellow v10 n then s m b l x okay so these are the model variant it is having n means this is the nano model s means smallest model m means medium model okay that's how it is having a uh, little bit bigger model now you can see the installation of yellow v10 I will show you the easiest way you can uh, follow to install this uh, YOLO V10 okay, uh, in your Google Colab. So here we'll be using Google Colab to implement the entire project. So let me show you guys, uh, I already prepared one Colab notebook for you. So the first thing what you have to do, just connect with the runtime. So that means I want to connect with my GPU. So I already connected with my GPU. Now let me connect my notebook. This notebook would be available in the description section. So from there you can launch up and you can uh, start the coding with me. So in between, let me show you the data set actually uh, we'll be using here. So guys, the data set actually I'm using here, I downloaded from RoboFlow. So let me show you. So there is a website you can always refer if you want to get any kinds of data or any kinds of computer vision related help. You can go to this particular website called Robo, uh, RoboFlow Universe. So inside RoboFlow Universe, you will get all kinds of data related computer vision it can be object detection, it can be image segmentation, it can be classification all kinds of data is available so this is the universe okay universe means here you will get the data okay all kinds of data and you see the count of the data okay now there is another website roboflow official like roboflow.com so here you can create an account and in this particular platform you can do the annotation of your data even you can also train your model okay even you can also deploy your model everything is possible here so i already created some tutorial in my youtube channel so let me show you so guys, I already created one uh, playlist called Computer Vision with RoboFlow. So there I already explained how we can annotate the data with the help of RoboFlow platform and all. So if you are interested in learning, just try to go ahead and watch that recording as well. Because here in this video, I'm not going to show the annotation part because I already covered so many times in my YouTube channel. Just try to learn the annotation from my previous recording itself. Now, as I already told you, I'll be using one data set called a license plate data set. So you can see if I search this data set here. So if you search anything in that search bar, you will get all kinds of data. Now see, you will have different different license plate data. Okay. Now you can download any of them. Let's say I, I want to download this one. So I'll just click here. So now you'll see one button called download project. Just click here. Now here you will get one option called download this data set. Just try to click on the data set. And here you have to select the format of YOLO V9. Okay. Because YOLO V9 and V10 format are same. So you don't need to worry about just select the YOLO V9 and try to download as a zip file either you can also download as a code but i will be downloading as a zip file now if i click on continue so it will download this data set in my system and it will be a zip file okay and your zip file uh, what other things would be available let me show you so guys uh, you will get this kinds of zip file now if i open this zip file so inside that you will have three kinds of folder test train and valid inside that you will be having the images so let me show you so this is the images okay this is the car uh, images with the number plate and you also have the 
annotation file the txt annotation because it's a yellow format annotation so here is the txt file so it will have the label as well as the uh, coordinate point of the license plate okay so that's how actually uh, in the all the folder actually will have this particular data as well as the annotation file and you will get another actually uh, file called data.yml so let me open the data.yml and let me show you so this is the data.yml guys inside data.yml what you have to do you have to mention the data location like what is the image path okay and number of classes i am having only one classes that's why i have given one and the class name is license now if you are having multiple classes you can also mention here okay it's up to you i already explained so many times this thing okay how we can create this data.yml file fine so now let me close these are the file i don't need as of now so i'll get back to my notebook now first of all let me check whether i got the gpu or not so for this you can execute this nvidia smi command and here i got the tesla t4 gpu now first of all what i have to do i have to clone the repository of the yellow v10 so here just uh, open the repository click on the code copy the link address and try to paste here now see if i execute this line it will clone the repository in my collab notebook now first of all i have to redirect to the folder that means in this particular folder so for this i will be running the cd command now if i show you my current working directory i am inside this yellow v10 folder fine now what i have to do i have to install the packages all the required packages for this you can execute this command pip install dot so this dot will install all the required packages. okay you have here so installation is done now what you have to do you have to download some of the model okay download some of the model from the model zoo and this is the link okay this is the link for all the model now if you want to download the model just try to mention the link of the model okay you will see this model is available inside this folder now here i have written a code snippet it will download uh, the model one by one from this particular url now see if i execute the program so here i have added a for loop so it will loop through this url and it will download the model one by one with the help of request package that's the idea now see it will create a folder called weights now inside that it will download all the model see all the model you can see it has downloaded fine now what i have to do i have to upload my data so what i can do i can upload the data here so let me upload just click on upload button make sure you are uploading inside yellow v10 folder now i'll upload my data so this is my zip file i'm going to upload it here so guys as you can see my data is down, uh, uploaded now if i refresh here so license data is available here now i have to unzip this particular file for this just execute this command now see my file has been unzipped now i can see my custom data set okay now see all the files and folders are available see all the folders are available now i also need to upload another file i think you remember which is nothing but my uh, data.yml file so let me also upload here i'll upload so this is my data.yml file i'm going to upload it here again i'm uploading inside uh yolo v10 folder fine all right see it is also uplo uploaded now you can directly start the training for this uh you can use this particular command so let me train as of now 50 epochs or i can turn 100 epochs because i want to get a good model and see here you have to do uh, you have to run one command called yolo you have to give the task that means uh, you want to perform the detection uh, then you have to give the mode you want to do the training or custom training that's why mode is equal to train epoch i am training 100 epoch bash is equal to 16 you can uh, decrease and increase based on your machine configuration plot true that means it will create a runs folder inside that it will save all the artifacts and here i have to specify the weights so here i'm using yolo v10 nano model so it is available inside weight folder i think you saw nano model okay this model actually i'm using you can also use any other model okay based on your requirement now here i'm passing the data.yml file path okay so here is the my data.yml file path okay because inside that i'm having all the location of my data but one thing you have to change here so you can see this is the uh, actually current path but i need to change the complete part so i what i will do i'll just cop open inside that i'm going to change all the path now let's say inside training folder i'm having the image i'll copy the path and here let me mention that means you have to give the complete part okay this is the complete path right now now for the validation as well i also need to do the same thing so i'll copy path and here let me mention it here okay and as of now i don't need the test image so i'll just try to remove because for the training i only need training and validation image now let me close it mm, everything is fine now i think i can start the training so just click on the train okay this one it will uh, start the training so training may take uh, some time guys uh, because here we are using free collab so let's wait once this training is completed uh, we'll come back again and we'll try to test this particular model 
so guys as you can see my training has started and epoxy is going on and per epoxy you can see the losses as well as the map score so let's wait uh once uh this training is completed i will come back so guys as you can see my training is completed and it has saved all the artifacts inside this runs folder so let me open the runs inside detect i'm having this uh, training now inside that you will see all the artifacts that means all the matrices now if you want to see them you can open this result.png and you can see the performance of the model so this is the complete result so you can see losses is decreasing uh, as per your epoch is increasing and here your map is increasing as per your uh epoch is increasing that means your model is learning better you can see there is no zigzag it is learning better now what i can do uh i will just check whether this particular model is performing on top of my test data or not so for this i will do the inference operation now inside that i'm going to upload one image first of all so see model would be available inside void folder so this is the model base.pt is my model okay this is my trained model now inside this yolo v10 folder i'm going to upload one testing image so i'm having the test image here so let's upload this image i think it is card.jpg okay so this is the card and it is having one uh, license plate now let's try to uh, see whether it is able to detect or not so to detect uh, you just need to perform this command yolo task is equal to detect you want to detect and mode is equal to predict right now because you want to only do the prediction confidence score as of now i've given 2. Uh, 0.25 you can also increase and decrease as per your requirement save is equal to true that means it will save that particular uh, let's say result and you have to give the model location now model is available inside my runs folder i already showed you now runs detect train okay so it should be train not train to because i previously i did multiple experiment that's why now this is my base.pt model and source image my card.jpg okay so here is my card.jpg now if i execute the program it should detect that particular license let's see we can also do the same thing on top of the video i will also show you how we can do on top of the video now see detection is done now if i show you my uh, runs folder right now it has created another folder called detect you can see detect predict and inside predict i have my prediction now see card.jpg now if i show you the prediction see beautifully it has detected the license plate with the confidence score of 0 0.990 that means 90 percent it is confident it's a license plate that means amazing detection guys although you have used nano model and train 100 epochs but still the prediction is pretty good okay now let's try on top of the video so what i'll show uh, i will upload one video here inside the yolo v10 folder i'm having one video so video is available here so this is the video so let me show you the video once so here is the video guys so some cards are moving here so we'll just try to apply the model on top of this video and let's see whether it is able to detect or not and let's see the performance of the model okay how it is able to detect in real time now i think it has uploaded now let me check video mp4 uploaded yeah now to perform on top of the video this is the command you have to execute the same command only you just need to uh give the video location here so it's equal to video.mp4 okay that's it now let me execute and if you want to perform on top of the camera source is equal to zero you have to give it will access your camera and you have to set up everything in your local machine so as of now we are running everything on our google collab so that's why it won't be able to access our camera but if you want to perform on top of the camera just give zero here after set up everything in your local machine okay this is the idea only so now see it has done on top of the video as well let me refresh let me show you let's inside detect predict two and here is the video file let me download and let me show you so guys as you can see my video is downloaded now let me open it up and let me show you the detection see amazing detection guys you can see real time it is detecting the license plate okay these cards uh, cards are moving actually so same thing you can also perform uh, with your web camera as i already told you only you just need to give the source is equal to zero okay that means your camera location and everything you have to set up in your local machine that's it so i hope guys you enjoyed this particular project and uh, you learned how we can use the yolo v10 and how we can uh, train our custom data so if you like this video please try to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family so thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you next time